hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i teach you how to create new and cool dynamic particle animation without using any third party add-on see guys the axe my really cool dynamic effect guys simple and best tutorial for beginners so now guys i show you my render preview so click on here yeah the axe my beautiful render right okay so guys now i teach you how i create this type of dynamic effect so guys file and i create new com and guys select all and press delete key okay so guys next one firstly i'm going to take a plane and plane rotation change like a 90 and guys z axis 90 yeah okay so guys go to on here that's my location location like a 7 is good yeah next one guys i take this time uv sphere uv sphere check and guys i increase segments so segments are like double like 64 and ring 32 is good okay so guys scale size 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 0 0.5 yes okay so guys go to on here out of frame and right click on sphere shade smoother okay so guys next step select this plane and i apply particle effect so click on here particles and guys see that's my particle system that's my emission number 1000 is good and that's my end like a 500 and lifetime i like 500 yes so guys see that's my frame frame i like 600 is good and now guys go to on here rotation check and rotation randomize i like randomly like a 0 0.5 and random phase 0 0.5 and dynamic check so next one guys go to on physics and physics type I like fluid yeah and stiffness change guys stiffness I like 0 0.2 randomly and viscosity half like a 1 and bouncy like a 0 0.1 yes that's it guys okay so guys now go to on here and check and check and now guys go to on advance so guys see test my stiff viscosity I like guys take a like a 1 is good and interact radius like a 1.25 enter okay so guys most important part go to on render and as a render i like object because that's my object and object select spare yeah and guys play okay see guys that's my particles right guys now rotate on part plane so guys select your plane and rotate z axis like a minus 90 and one more time preview yeah much better right that's my simple particles okay so guys now i increase this pair size size pair so by particle and guys scale size like a 0 0.5 and random scale random like a 0 0.6 and guys preview check yeah that's my particles okay so guys next one i change gravity so guys see that's my gravity i like zero and guys preview okay that's looking so good right okay so guys next one i apply this time guys go to on force field and use wind and rotate rotate like this like a minus 90 and guys position change so guys select your wind go to on here guys wind position like a 9 is good okay so play yeah okay so guys i increase strength wind wind strength like a 3 and one more time preview yeah much better right see guys that's my really cool dynamic effect dynamic particles okay so guys next one this time i apply force this one force check and guys force play okay so guys not working so guys force i take minus 30 randomly minus 30 and preview yeah much better see guys that's my cool dynamic effect and guys more like a minus 40 is good minus 40 force field and one more time preview yeah great right okay so guys also you can apply turbulence trouble so guys you can apply trouble force field 
एंड ट्रबल एंड चेक दाइज ट्रबल आई लाइक टू स्ट्रेंथ एंड वन मोर टाइम प्रिव्यू या मच बेटर इट्स लुकिंग रियली गुड राइट ओके सो गाइज आल्सो नाउ आई क्रिएट रोटेशन इफेक्ट सो फो गाइ रोटेशन एड एंड गाइज आई यूज दिस टाइम वॉट एक्स सेलेक्ट एंड गाइज प्रिव्यू चेक Yeah. Okay. See guys, that's my simple rotation. It's not working. So guys, increase strength. What extra strength? Like a uh, three. And guys, play. See guys, that's my really cool rotation. And guys, stop. Guys, I create three sixty degree rotation. So guys, go to on here. And see guys, the I select vertex. So rotation on zero frame, check zero, and guys go to on last like a six hundred frames, and guys rotation three sixty, three sixty, and three sixty, and all key frame check. Yeah, that's it, guys. Right, and guys preview. Yeah, much better. Right, see guys, that's my really cool dynamic. Okay, so guys, now I little bit change keyframe. So select this one keyframe. I like five hundred is good. And one more time preview. Yes, really good. See guys, that's my really cool dynamic particle effect, right? And guys, now I select camera and camera check and set your camera angle. So guys, select a camera and rotation ninety zero and zero and position. So guys, change and the y-axis change like this. Yeah, and guys, more like a minus twenty. Yes, and guys, one more time, go to back and preview check. Yeah, okay. See guys, that's my final particles. Particle is looking really good. And guys, next one, I apply background. So guys, next one, stop. So guys, I take plane, plane check. And guys, plane size increase like this. And guys, press one, go to down. So guys, I create background, backdrop. So go to on edit mode, select edge, and press E and G. And guys, increase this one. And guys, I apply bevel effect. So bevel check. So bevel amount like a zero point two. And segment spot is good. So apply, apply check, and right click and shade smoother and play and yeah. Okay, so guys, my particle and background is finished. And now, guys, I create material. Guys, I already create material. So guys, go to a file and append. So guys, you can download this material from my website free. And guys, material check select and append. Okay, so guys, go to back, and I apply material on this one sphere. So press three. Actually, one is good, and closer. And guys, firstly, apply material. So see guys, that's my material. So apply like a marble material. And guys, next one, click on here, and I take edit mode, and select face. So guys, select this one, half sphere. And create new. So guys, I take this one and assign check. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's my material. And click on here. Yeah, it's my material. Guys, you can change marble material. It's depend on your work. Select. Yeah, much better. Okay, so guys, now select this one backdrop. And guys, that's my background material. And next one, guys, I create HDR lighting. So select. So guys, I apply HDR environment texture. So desktop check, and guys select this one and apply. And now, guys also I use area light. So light and area light check, guys first. That's my top light. So scale size like a five is good and power like a fifty. And now, guys little bit up. So guys duplicate, and that's my front light. And rotate, rotate like this. Yeah, that's it, guys. Right? That's my lighting. 
and guys next one play and preview check yes okay so guys my work is finished it's looking really good and now guys i show you my one frame render and some render setting so render setting guys i use cycle render and device gpu check and max amp 25 is good for me so guys go to on here frame rate i use 30 fps and output so guys i create simple new folder and take any file name like a renders and file name take like a one yeah that's it guys so render and render image check see guys that's my really beautiful material and render okay so guys that's it my work is finished and guys close so render and guys now go to on here most important part so select this one that's my plane and go to on here particle and catch it and bake or dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished now one more time go to back and preview check see so guys that's my really cool particles and guys that's my final work guys best tutorial for beginners so stop and render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you